Local defense attorney Barry Covert joins us now. Barry, uh, these are some pretty serious charges against Chad Kelly, aren't they? Very serious charges. It's the highest count of felony that you can be charged with. He faces up to one to three years incarceration because it is a felony, uh, because he allegedly remained in a premises without authorization to do so. Uh, but you can expect, though, because he does not have a significant criminal history, as he has some arrests in the past, uh, there were no injuries here, there's no violent activity here, that he wouldn't be facing that I would more suspect that there's going to be a plea along the lines of a reduction if he engages in some type of um, substance abuse counseling because it appears at least as though from the outside and reading the report because he was mumbling something because he appeared to have mistakenly gone into a house he doesn't appear to have committed any crimes in that house this is probably a case that's going to be ripe for an adjudication with some type of substance abuse counseling and a reduction in the charges so is this truly defensible it absolutely is from what I see from the for right now because there is the uh, the appearance here that he was uh, under some type of influence of substance either alcohol or a drug and because of that may not have even known that he was entering into the wrong home he appears to have lingered outside of the home according to the surveillance videotape from the home then he went into the house sat next to a woman with a child not seeming to have discussed anything with them he was mumbling and then he was hit and forced to leave the house there, there, there it appears that the element of intentionality or knowing having entered into the wrong premises may not exist. The local defense attorney Barry Covert, as always, Barry, great to have you in studio. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.